Welcome to this episode of the Optimistic Entrepreneur podcast. Today we're going to look at how you can maximize your month-end promotion of your online courses. And I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step process of what I do. Now, running promotions for your online courses should be a regular part of your monthly content schedule. But how can you get the most out of it? New courses and single course promotions can be good, but this strategy shows you how to promote all your courses all at once, in a simple way and without being spammy. First of all, you need to decide on your promotion code, and this month I'm going to go with PYO August, P-Y-O-A-U-G. PYO being uh, an English phrase, maybe you have it in America as well, pick your own. You'll see why shortly. At the end of the campaign, you're going to be able to judge the success of your promotional campaign by looking at your revenue report and seeing how many sales tie in to that specific code. Next, you need to create a Google Sheet. Now, this needs to have your course name, your course link, your course link with your coupon, the coupon, the expiry date, and the terms of the coupon. So you've got all your information set up which means it's very easy to go and find these links when you need to for any of the promotions we're going to do a bit further on. So then open a browser and go to your instructor's course page. Now, for every course you wish to promote, in my case, all 20 of my published and public courses, and obviously my paid ones, not my free ones, you need to open a new tab. And you need to keep this browser open for the whole exercise because you're going to need these tabs later on. Go to your first course, select Promotions, and then click on Create New Coupon. This will open a window offering you four coupon choices. In the future, this may change because Udemy is always making changes and improvements. Select Current Best Price, Unlimited Redemptions, Inspire, ex, expires in five days. The box expands and you can edit your coupon. Now, the, the initial coupon they create there is something with about 20 numbers and letters in, which is gobbledygook. Change that to PYOAUG or whatever your uh, selected coupon is going to be and then click Review Coupon. Then make sure you're happy with everything, review what's on the screen, and then you can click click on the Create Coupon button. Your coupon is now live, and you need to click on the Copy button in the lower box to copy your course link, which includes the new coupon. You can then take this over to your Google Sheet and enter the link into the sheet uh, to, you know, for, the, that, for the relevant course. I also use this to copy a non-coupon link and the title of the course at the same time. This sheet is going to be important later, so you must do this step. Now, complete the promo code creation and Google Sheet update for all your courses. Now it's time to draft your course message. Now, listing dozens of courses can be very confusing. And don't forget, if you overwhelm people with choice, they're not going to know what to buy. So try to keep your promotional message simple and use images if you can. I am going to create a separate slide deck, which I will later use for a short promotional video to my community outside of Udemy. These are the slides. So this is the set of slides I'm going to use for the little video. So it starts off August, pick your own course, promotion, coupon PYO. And I'm going to deliver this as if I'm delivering the video. Is there a course of mine that is on your wish list but is never promoted? Have you seen a course that you want to enrol in but you're waiting for a promo code? Well, today is the day. Welcome to my August Pick Your Own Course Promotion in three simple steps. Firstly, go to my course page. You can find that at www.udemy.com forward slash user forward slash John Colley. Now, choose one or more courses. Click on the course that you want to buy. Click on the Apply Coupon button, which you'll see on the right-hand side below my image uh, and below the Buy Now button. Enter the coupon, in this case it's PYOAUG, in the Enter Coupon box and click Buy Now. That will enable you to complete your purchase. 
Welcome to the course. Coupons are unlimited, but they expire midnight 1st of September 2020, so don't miss out. Enroll today. My PYO promotion coupon, PYOAUG. And that's it. That is the short little promotion slide deck, which you can then use in messages and you can also then turn into a video. Now, go back to your course dashboard and open the communication tab. Select announcements, promotional emails, and make sure that you have your first course selected from the menu at the top. Then click Compose. Now you can draft your message in the first course, but don't send anything until we are quite finished. You'll need a catchy title. All my courses, PYO, best offer, price ends 01 September. That gives them enough information to be going on with. It tells them exactly what they need to know. Now export the slides from the short promo slide deck into smaller images and bring the two explaining the process into your announcement. A picture, after all, is worth a thousand words. Now embed the links to your public profile page in the text and on both images. Add a signature block at the end to make it more personal and check all the links are right. Now you can move on to your next course and you can repeat the promotional message creation process. You can copy and paste the message from your first message, copy the title, still don't send it, but go and draft the, the draft message for every one of your courses, but don't send any of them. I keep on repeating this. We need to get everything set up until we're ready to go. Now the next bit is critical. In the exclude students who are enrolled in one of these courses, put in the course from the first message. So you're in the second message and you're going to add the, uh, uh, basically exclude students who are enrolled in one of these courses from the first course. And you need to take this first course one and repeat it for all your draft messages. So you're taking it and you're putting it into every single one of the course messages. This ensures that students will only receive one email from you regarding this promotion. Now, multiple emails for students in multiple courses is very annoying, and I haven't actually yet found another way to handle this issue. Let me explain this caref carefully because it's critical. I call it my cascade email method. And this is the message to my um, B2B sales students, which is the next one to go out. And you can see that I've got the uh, Amazon FBA, um, Audacity, and now the B2B sales one, in the message in the exclusion box. So the next message to my blockchain students has the B2B students excluded from it, uh, from the message recipients, as they have already received a message from me in the previous step. So you get the idea. The next message to my business development students has all the others excluded plus the blockchain students. You see how the cascade evolves. At the end of the cascade, you are sending the last message to the last course and excluding every other course you have sent a message to. This way, every student only received one email message from you. It's tedious to do, but worth it, as the students in multiple courses are your best students and you don't want to upset them. Once your messages are ready to go, send yourself a test email just to make sure everything is right. And when you're happy with everything, you can start sending out messages to your Udemy students. And this completes part one of the strategy, promoting to your Udemy audience. The next step is to promote outside of Udemy itself. So where are we going to promote? Well, to Facebook groups and pages, to Twitter, to LinkedIn, and to IGTV and Instagram. How are we going to do this? Well, with a combination of video and images. Let's start by recording the video from the slide deck we created to promote the course in our messages. Once that launch video is done, and I'm keeping it around 90 seconds so I can play it on most platforms, I will make derivative videos from it for days two and the final closing day. You can do it for every single day if you wish. Now I've uploaded three videos to my Facebook page and used Facebook to create the captions. I've scheduled day two and closing day for my page. And now I use repurpose.io uh, in order to create the videos I need for social media. 
Now, you, if you've got another way of doing this, because we need square videos and vertical videos, that's great. I happen to use this tool, and I like using tools uh, because it makes my life easier. So I want to create square videos for Twitter, LinkedIn, and my Facebook groups, and they look like this. You can see them on the screen. And I'll create vertical videos for IGTV and Instagram with closed captions, which is really important when posting to social media because the default is to mute the sound so they can see what it's saying even if they don't unmute the sound. The square videos I then take over to Promo Republic, another app that I use, so that I can publish and schedule to my two Facebook groups, my three other Facebook pages, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest if I want to, and um, I actually schedule directly to YouTube, so not YouTube in this case. But this enables me to hit a whole load of properties uh, all at once. To publish and schedule on IGTV and Instagram, I use Facebook Creator Studio. So you go to Facebook Creator Studio and then you can start setting up posts which can go to IGTV and Instagram. And you'll see here I've got one being drafted and it automatically goes to IGTV, but I can share it both to Instagram, and I tick the box, and to my page, The Six Minute Strategist, at the same time. So again, it gets more syndication, it goes out more often. I've also used the video and some slide deck images to send out an email to my list, which should be short and sweet, just like the message to the Udemy students. And this can be repeated on closing day as well to get additional impact. So that's it, a step-by-step walkthrough of promotional campaign making the most of email and social as well as promoting to all your Udemy students. It doesn't matter how many students you have and it doesn't matter how many courses you have. Now, if there's something else you do, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Comment or email me. So this is it for this episode, showing you how I go about maximizing my month-end promotions. I hope you hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to uh, sign up to um, subscribe for the uh, Optimistic Entrepreneur podcast wherever you are listening. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon in another episode.